Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. DFW Real Estate Weekly. Jeremy Payne has got starched, creased <laughs> jeans on, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, when it comes to your homes on land, your agent doesn't have to have starched, creased jeans, but it doesn't hurt. All right, folks, uh, you are listening to DFW Real Estate Weekly. I am Todd Tremonti, and we have got a full studio today. We've got a treat for you, folks. It won't be long before we introduce you to uh, Jason McFall. It's going to blow your mind uh, what he's got to offer you. But before we do that, uh, we've got a lot to talk about today. Uh, the media is making up words again, and we're not necessarily anti-media, but we are anti uh, click bait that is not helpful for you when it comes to buying, selling, and enjoying your home. We'll talk a little bit about the holidays. Uh, whether you like it or not, we do need to talk a little bit about mortgage rates. Yay. We got, a few, we got a few other surprises up our sleeves. So if you have questions and you want us to answer them, you know what to do. Get out your cell phone, call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214 214- 310-0008, or you can find us online anytime, all day, all night, on any device you've got at touchmoneyteam.com. That's right, touchmoneyteam.com. But this first segment, as always, is brought to you by Patrick Glaros and his team at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to take out a mortgage, refinance, maybe you're thinking about getting a second property, you can go to patrickglaros.com. You can start an application right there on his website. PatrickGleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, PatrickGleros.com, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. All right, party people, we are getting into it today. So if you've got questions or comments or thoughts or headlines that you would like us to answer or discuss, call or text 214-310-0008. We're going to tell you later how you can schedule an absolutely free, zero commitment required strategy session during the month of January to get your real estate goals, your answers to your questions, and all those things dialed in before 2024 runs away from you. Now, Ian, yes. before we get going, yes. I'm confident that I know what's on your mind. Okay. Santa's coming in town. <laughs> it's not oh, my God. <laughs> it's almost here. Guys, guys and girls, it's real. It's time. Santa's coming to town. Christmas is here. It's very important that people know. Uh, but in all seriousness, the holidays are right around the corner and the general attention to real estate changes. So uh, stay tuned. The next couple of weeks, we'll be here every Saturday at 3 p.m. We'll also be here for you between the shows. 214-310-0008 and online like at 16 days. How many days? It's like 16. God, it's not even two weeks, Courtney. She's so excited. I have not bought a single thing. Well, you don't need to. What? Santa's coming to town. Oh, my God. Santa will not be. Not one thing. Santa will be helping. <laughs> I actually have, but I can't talk about it here. We got all, some, our, we got all of our inflatables put up. All oh. of them. Oh, when, he, when he, are up. Send me a pic. When he says pick. all, he's not saying two or three. We've got three sets of minions. We've got a six foot rainbow unicorn that changes color. What? We've got uh, Bucky the Beaver. Yeah. Bucky's up. We've got um, we've got a mini Yoda, baby Yoda. That's a good one. We've got what else we got? All right, I'm gonna stop with the drops. Do Let's you get into it. Snowman. Do you keep adding? Yeah. But some of them die. Mickey died, unfortunately. Minnie died. You sit on a throne of lies. Okay. <laughs> Too many of the drops. All right, let's get into it. What are we covering today? What questions do we have? Christmas. Hey, I'm into it. What are we... Uh, do you see the Zillow article that came out uh, this past week? I get three voicemails from Zillow every single week. I see... 10 or 12 headlines from Zillow every week and this I get was, this was the 1000 20, complaints about them. This week. is the 2024 housing market predictions. I uh, yeah, I saw some of the bullet points, but let's we're, let's uh let's get to some of the highlights and Yeah, we'll ultimately the article is kind of giving some hope for people. It's saying like I, I don't think it's going to be as bad as it was in 2023. There's going to be a little bit more uh, inventory in 2024, uh, we should have slightly lower interest rates, mortgage rates. There's going to be a little bit more availability. Um, you know, it, it was not a doom and gloom article. It was one that was saying, hey, there's going to be challenges, 
but have a little bit of extra hope that um you know as inventory increases a wee bit and uh home buying costs kind of stabilize a little bit like be be encouraged by that yeah let me just start by saying this um zillow's data while they probably have the most data on the planet when it comes to residential real estate listings and transactions and that's a big statement by the way because you would think industry insider technology sources would have better data but zillow owns uh, at the moment, at least for now, still the most trafficked singular website in the world of residential real estate. They also own multiple brands and businesses within the industry. So they have a tremendous amount of showing data and they have a ton of transactional data. So actually a lot of people in the industry are fearful that because Zillow has access to that much data that they are illegally, and I'm not saying they are, but a lot of people are fearful that they are trying to monopolize the entire housing industry for a long, long time, well, not actually not that long, but for a while, they were trying to buy a ton of property. They got into the brokerage business. They were trying to basically flip homes. So all that to say, Zillow's data, they have a ton of it. I don't normally align with their interpretation of that data. And let me give you some counter data to Zillow's data just to tell you how messy it is out there right now. Redfin's 2024 housing predictions say home prices will fall 1%. New listings will increase, home sales will increase and end of the year up 5%, and mortgage rates will steadily decline but remain above 6%. I don't agree with all that either. So the fact of the matter That's is- That's also really vague. They will come down, but they will stay above 6%. Yep. 7%, 7.5, 7.75. Now, 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 to be clear, they do have more specifics. That's the summary of their report. I'm also not a huge fan of Redfin's public data. And the reason is, by the way, I'm not saying like, we have, we are better at interpreting data than these billion dollar corporations. Uh, and I, and I mixed, I mixed accents. I mixed accents there. Did it to, did it for Ian's enjoyment. Um, but what I'm saying is that real estate is local. So when Zillow comes out and gives you their assessment of North American residential data, that's not insignificant, but it's also not all that helpful for you to make decisions in Plano or in Weatherford or in Benbrook. Okay, but I read um, that comps are gonna have to start becoming more national because of the way people are comparing living, how, how far a million dollars gets them in New York versus Dallas. Where did, you, where did you read that? On uh, the internet. No, Ryan Cernhart. Right. Cernhart. <laughs> Close. Cernhart. Ryan Savassier. Um, I'm a pop culture real estate. You are. Vibe. You love Ryan's YouTube videos that I'm are only it. about uh, twenty-seven million dollar houses. Well, now I will say this: I've spent some time with Ryan. He's actually he's actually super sharp and really funny and a genuinely nice dude. He's just playing a very different game than almost every residential real estate agent on the planet. He's building a brokerage and a brand, uh, and his clientele is a globe trotting clientele that maybe they buy on the coast in Florida, maybe they buy in L.A., maybe they buy in uh, Asheville, uh, and they're going to spend twenty-four million dollars. Um, that is factually absurd for the general population that is going to buy a four bedroom house in Allen. But if anybody listening wants to buy a $24 million yeah. home, feel free to reach out to us. Yeah, we can help you with that. But, but the point I'm making is uh, that's not how the industry works. When an appraiser, who by the way, is the third party source that your lender brings in to verify value of the asset, which will be the collateral for the loan they give you, they are not going to compare that to a house in another city. They really don't even want to compare it to a house on another street, much less school district, zip code, state, government, right? So if you're only, if there are only 10 houses in the United States of America that are 18 million and up that meet your needs, yeah, they'll have to find a way to compare values across a much larger spectrum. But for the average family or individual that's buying a house below a million dollars, in a traditional community, that is the opposite of how an appraiser is required to value the property. So I'm not mad. Ryan's just doing something very different. Um, and it's important, by the way, look, I, I, we think we're pretty darn sharp. We've got a great track record of reading the market, right? But we are not always saying everyone else is an idiot and we're not. What we're often saying is 
that's based on averages and averages are misleading or that's national news and that's not as helpful or hey that's dfw wide you know and you live in lewisville so we need to look only at lewisville only at that zip code only at your school district only at your side of the neighborhood only at your part of the block only at houses like your right so it's just real estate is a residential real estate is a hyper local world now that does not mean to the contrary that you know, your friend that lives in the neighborhood and only sells two houses a year in the neighborhood is the greatest expert on that. We're also not saying that. So there's a lot of nuance to the world of real estate, but all that to say, Zillow's data is generally encouraging and they're not alone. There is a lot more encouraging uh, interpretation of market data right now than we've seen for 23 months, I would say. And the reason is we have seen mortgage rates come back down a little bit. And we have seen economic data that says, hey, inflation might be at least a little bit uh, reined in. Um, and we actually might see some uglier jobs numbers, which actually means a more stable economy. I'm not the one saying those things. That's what some of the sources of data that are leading to a little bit more optimism in the residential real estate market are. And I think those are generally decent reads from a macro nationwide economic perspective. I do think 2024, we will see more home sales overall. I believe here in DFW, we will not see home values drop like Redfin was saying. Maybe you will nationally. I think you certainly might in some certain pockets. But in DFW, I believe you're still going to see home values going up basically at a traditional rate, three, four, five percent ish. You'll see some pockets do better, some pockets do not as well, but you are going to see more homes sell most likely, and you are probably going to see mortgage rates um, in a slightly more manageable, more comfortable range, which would probably be somewhere in the high fives to low to mid sevens, which is a larger range, but this year we saw low eights, high sevens uh, for a big chunk of the year, and my guess is we're not going to see that again next year. If you haven't shopped your home insurance or your auto insurance recently, I'm telling you to reach out to DP at Goosehead Insurance. Him and his team will do that for you. He's a broker. He's going to be able to shop around 30 plus companies and make sure you get the best rate with the most coverage. DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, Goosehead.com, DP.Lambert at Goosehead.com. You can give him a call, 214-614-8595. As always, you can go to ToddTramoneyTeam.com. You can click the radio tab and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. Yep. Brandon Wyatt reached out to DP earlier this week on our team. And DP said, I can save you some money. 500 bucks. hey -o! I like 500 bucks. Uh, who wants to hear a really fun short insurance story? Cool, thanks. Insurance company required us to put handrails on the stairs to the treehouse. Can you believe that? The good news is I text DP and he was like, just send me a picture of whatever you put up. So we had someone put very basic rails up. He's like, cool, got it. You're covered. Don't worry about it. So once again, DP making it easy, but. Like so that your yard is covered? No, handrails so that when you're going up the stairs, you can safely hold on to a rail because children can't just climb up in trees anymore. I get it that the insurance company wants to protect against that, but I also didn't want them to go anywhere near my tree house. But now you know. Your tree it house? Treehouse. Yes. Another um, another part of this uh, Zillow uh, news story that I want to read to you. I'm going to read this entire thing. It's very short. It says the new starter home will be a single family rental. It says though some improvement for home buying affordability is expected in 2024, many households will continue to be priced out. Demand and prices for single family rentals will continue to increase next year as families look for a more affordable option to enjoy amenities like a private backyard or a home that doesn't share walls with neighbors. Now here's the key bit. One possible path to more single family rental inventory is homeowners deciding to turn their invest turn their home own home into an investment property and rent it out rather than selling it when they move. The ultra low mortgage rates held by many existing homeowners make it more likely that this option would happen. It seems like that's Ooh. pretty realistic, right? That people don't want to give up the super low rent, so well, super low mortgage rate, so they're going to rent it out and keep it as an investment property. Here come the class warfare accusations. Yeah, this is possible if you can afford to buy your next home and keep your old home, which right. has been a strategy of financially more stable homeowners for a long time. 
we all know someone who's never sold a home. They, they buy one and when they move, they keep it as a rental. Or at least we, most of us know someone that at least did that once. Hey, we kept the old one. We have a rental. Uh, it's our college savings plan or it's part of our retirement plan, you know, whatever. I think that's great. I do think you're going to see more and more of that. But no, I do not think you're going to see that market wide because most people need the equity out of one house to get into the next house. The counter argument to that is we're seeing debt levels rise as fast as they've ever risen. So a lot of people have more debt than ever, and they really need to get the equity out of their house to get back into a more manageable situation. So yes, I mean, that's simple math, basic logic. If I have a house at 2.85% uh, and I can keep it as a rental, I have a larger margin for cash flow there, but I may still be getting into my next house at 6.85 or whatever. So I'm sort of triaging, I'm, 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 I'm making it up here, losing it over here. Um, but yeah, I think you'll see more people really reluctant to let go of any rate below five because I'm not sure we'll see interest rates below five, you know, for the next 20, 30 years. Well, and this kind of leads into another article that we were reading this week. Uh, this was from Yahoo Finance, and they were talking about what they call the lock-in effect. Ooh. Basically, when early 2020, right, when rates were at the absolute all-time low, people's minds are still locked in on the fact that that's what rates were. So they don't want to mess around. That's a part of the reason that supply and inventory is so low right now still is because people are living in 2020 world where, or they want to live in 2020 world where rates were super low and they were able to afford whatever they wanted to go do because it was, because it was so low, because it was two and a half, 2.75, and now it's eight. And so people are not wanting to get past that fact. So, but the reality is like, we, we have to get past that fact. Yeah. So there's two things happening. The lock-in effect can be defined a couple of different ways. One is people are mentally locked in in a world that no longer exists. The other is that people have locked in rates at two and three yeah. and four, and they don't want to let them go. Number one is just a fact that people are going to have to get over. The world has changed. Number two is a very real financial reality. If you own a home at 3%, even if you don't like the home, you might like your financial situation so much that you're going to stay in that home. You may be more inclined to add on or remodel or just deal with it. The, the flip side of the I'm mentally locked in in a world that no longer exists is people are beginning to come around and realize, okay, that world is gone. And if I want the larger home, if I want to move closer to the office or out and get a bigger backyard, I'm... I'm going to just have to deal with this reality that I'm going to have a higher interest rate or have to save more cash. The last three weeks on our team, we've had more and more people that are wanting to sell and or buy reach out to us and are actually ready to do something. Right. We had a six month period where we had plenty of people, plenty of listeners yep. would reach out to us. We would go meet with them, but man, the situation just didn't make sense. Yeah. It just, just wasn't the right time. But over these last three weeks, We've had so many people that are just like, no, like we, this is what we're going to do. And time's right. Yeah. And I just want to acknowledge how proud I am of our team members that for the last six or eight months have told people, you, you know what? You may be right. Now may not be the best time for you. And that's the kind of leadership and guidance that people deserve is if they financially can't afford to get out of a home, then you should not do that. Uh, unfortunately, our industry is one that always says, you know, buy, 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 sell, 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 because I need a commission. Whereas I'm really proud of our members of the Todd Tremonti home selling team who are willing to tell people, hey, it, this may not be the best time for you. Let's hang tight. Here's a few action steps we can take to be in a better position when the time is right. And to your point, many, many, many of them are now going, okay, I got my ducks in a row. We've come to grips with the new reality. Um, if interest rates were to improve, we will take advantage of that later. But we're going to go ahead and get into the market now, sell and buy or buy or buy and remodel, or whatever the case it is. We're also hearing from more and more people that are ready to take advantage of a slightly better buying opportunity to achieve some of their long-term dreams, whether that's a larger home or a home with a bigger backyard or a home with some extra features. And we're super excited about that. One of the ways that we are making an effort to be able to help more of those people is by growing our team. And we've got a new team member with us, microphone in hand, folks. We got Jason McFall, new member of the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, and uh, we're going to do a rapid-fire introduction, and then the second half of the show, 
Uh, we're going to put him on the hot seat and ask him some questions and see see what he's bringing to the table. Welcome to the team and the show, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what I'm exactly supposed to say. Listen, um, this is where sink or, sink or swim, bro. Oh, perfect. Um, tell folks a little bit about yourself and why in the world you would want to be on the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Well, I um, came from... Uh, Austin, Texas, uh, moved here. We're going to do the whole life story. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. so, oh, yeah. so excited. Easy. Got about 75 seconds. 70, so 75 go seconds. Got it. Uh, <laughs> got a big family, uh, wife, kids, Austin, Texas, uh, live in Dallas now. Uh, always been interested in real estate. And I finally found a home uh, where I could potentially make the leap and actually get some great guidance. So, yeah, we're yeah. super excited about Jason. His skill set, his background is one that clients will benefit from significantly. Uh, in his personal world, he's been able to be involved in some really unique and interesting real estate scenarios that he's going to bring a lot of uh, value and opportunity to our clients and our friends and, um, and, and honestly help us add more value to friends, neighbors, clients, listeners, viewers, and all those things. Uh, head over to ToddTremontiTeam.com where you can take advantage of all those things. You can find out your property value. You can track your home equity. You can find out if you're ready to buy, ready to sell. You can see every home on the market by every real estate team, company, brokerage, agent in the market. All of that happens online at touchmoneyteam.com. And if you are thinking about buying, selling, investing, or just getting some clarity about the real estate market for the year that lies ahead, our team has dedicated almost every afternoon throughout the month of January. Jason's doing that. I'm doing that. Most of our team, our agents are all doing that, of course to just help people get answers to questions and get clarity around, would it be smart to buy this year? Would it be smart to sell first quarter, second quarter, later in the year? If I wanted to buy a rental, what about a short-term rental? Hey, we're thinking about buying another house and keeping our current house. Great, let's have a cup of coffee or a Topo Chico or a Coke or whatever you're into some afternoon in January and help you get a game plan together so you can sleep like a baby at night knowing what you can or maybe ought to wait to achieve in 2024. So if you'd like to meet with Jason or Ian or me or one of our team members, text us right now, 214-310-008 and just say strategy. We'll get back to you. We'll schedule that. Or you can call the office 214-310-0008. And we would be happy to connect you with one of our full-time, fully dedicated, world-class real estate specialists on the Tatramani Home Selling Team right now. And you could schedule a time to come into our Richardson office, our Fort Worth office, or if need be, we could jump on a Zoom and get that taken care of for you as well. Listen, people, sometimes your team makes a miniature version of you, and then they all have one, and they're on the shelf, and sometimes sometimes they're staring at you. So there's that. Uh, Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team Christmas Party uh, just last week. And uh, David Goss gives everyone on the team a Christmas gift. They open their bag, and what do they get? A miniature version of this guy. And that's the level of ridiculousness we offer you here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. An absolute commitment to world-class value and a little bit of fun along the way. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a house at any point in 2024 or beyond, that's fine. We are dedicating almost every afternoon in January to our full-time, world-class, dedicated team members and agents sitting down, uh, ideally live, in our Richardson office or our Fort Worth office, worst case at a coffee shop. We'll buy you a Coke, a, couple of co a cup of coffee, a water, Topo Chico, whatever you're into, and answer your questions. Our team is also putting in, has put together uh, a 2024 Outlook, and we'll share that with you when we sit down. But if you're thinking about buying a rental this year or making a move, downsizing, upsizing, building, uh, getting into a certain school district or closer to the office or out onto a, a bigger lot, bigger land, bigger backyard. Uh, let's have that conversation in January so you don't spend two days, two weeks, two months, or two years not knowing what the opportunity is or what you need to do to get prepared. So we offer those free strategy sessions all throughout the month of January. All you've got to do is call or text this number, which you should just have saved in your phone already, 214 310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. And you can just text us the word strategy 
and then we'll circle back with you and get all that nailed down. Or you can go ahead and call us right now and we'll get you scheduled. Also, if you have questions you would like us to answer for you, call or text 214-310-0008 or anytime, day or night at touchmoneyteam.com. PatrickGlaros.com is where you need to go if you are thinking about taking out a mortgage, doing a refinance, buying a home, whatever that looks like. Maybe you're looking for a second property. Maybe you're going to keep the one you've got, but you want to get another one. I don't know. Go to PatrickGlaros.com. You can start your application right there on his website, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. And it was good to see Patrick in the office this week. It was great to see him in the office. I also closed the deal alone that we did with Patrick this week. Believe it or not, my first ever refinance. Congratulations. Never refinanced before. We buy them, we sell them, we buy them, we pay them off. Uh, but we built one. And so we had to refi out of a construction loan into a traditional mortgage. And you know who I'm calling? Patrick Glaros. Also, we went to patrickglaros.com about 746 times throughout the whole process. And as always, his team, Weston and the crew, took great care of us. All right, folks, listen, we are live in the Keen Landscaping Studios. And Keen Landscaping knocked it out of the park just a few weeks ago with the final landscaping on a, on a new project we just did. They were in and out in like three hours, built four new beds, uh, reconfigured some drip irrigation for us, thought through the right location. Flower beds. Flower beds. Got yeah. It. Not like bunk beds, but flower beds. Uh, put in some shrubs, put in some trees, uh, retooled a little bit of drip irrigation. And I was what I was really encouraged by is they were thoughtful about the orientation of the house, the yard, the concrete. There were some plants that I wanted and they were like, look, you should not put those there because of the amount of heat you're going to get from that south facing wall. And I was like, what a bummer. But thank you for thinking that through instead of just shoving it in and letting it fry next summer. So Keen Landscaping, K-E-A-N-E, KeenLandscaping.com. Uh, ask for uh, Alan. Tell them Todd sent you. They can do your maintenance, your installs, your tree work, and all of the above. Keenlandscaping.com. All right. I want to talk about some homes on land, Todd. So do I. I want to know what it means. Let's start there. Let's start with the what definition. What does it mean? What does it all mean? All right. What is when, a home on land? When we say homes on land, we mean big backyards. We mean half an acre to one or two or five, maybe even eight or ten. What we don't mean is a normal lot. And we also don't mean farm and ranch land. Now, we could help you with all those things. We basically specialize in two primary things on our team. Number one is the most desirable neighborhoods all throughout DFW. And number two is homes with really big backyards. So normally that means an acre or two or three or four or five, right? But it's still a yard, right? So you could have animals back there. You could have trails. You could have ponds. You could have pools. You could have gardens. You could have orchards. You could raise a pig. You could raise a cow. But most of them are really big backyards. They're not farms and ranches, and they're certainly not townhomes or condos or zero lot lines. These are big backyards. Uh, for years and years and years, people have um, desired those types of properties. Uh, many people that we talk to say they've always wanted that, but they've never done it. Well, we are turning up the dial on how much we want to help people do that. For years and years and years, that's been kind of our second uh, area of specialization outside of, you know, big neighbor, you know, desirable neighborhoods in Richardson, Plano, Allen, McKinney, Frisco, Benbrook, West Fort Worth, Alito, you know, all, all over DFW for years and years and years, 15 years plus, we have really enjoyed helping people buy nice homes and neighborhoods. And for probably 13 plus years, we have really enjoyed uh, helping people buy homes with a few acres. And so, we, we want people to know that if that's an aspiration of yours, it's probably a lot more achievable than you think. We'll probably get court. Okay. Okay. All right. We got Bluetooth connection Ring. there. Um, we want people to know that that's probably way more achievable to you than you would think. Um, we talk to people who are like, we'd like to do that someday. And then we're able to show them how they can do it in probably 60 days. So that's what it is, and it's much more achievable than most people think. Jason, do you have any chickens? No chickens for me. Pigs. Uh, I am not an outdoors guy. <laughs> Amen, brother. You can just stop asking. Amen. Um, City guy. Yep. 100%. And that's great. Do you like to camp? No. Actually, we went on oh. our first camping trip, and I hated it for the first five hours. Good 
What happened after the first five hours? I Went got, to a hotel? No. I got yeah. dirty enough and just lived with it. And uh, by the next morning, I was good. I yeah. was ready to go. All right. Well, how did it go to the hotel after the first 30 minutes? Yeah. My two, two, two partners in crime today are not uh, homes on land, outdoors people. But Courtney, let's get you a microphone here because we talk all the time in the office, in the studio about how, in your mind, this is awesome, but it feels so big. Yes. So tell me more about why it feels so big. Well, it feels like an ideal. I can appreciate the principles and the opportunity and the fun. Um, and it sounds wonderful for my family, but it feels expensive. It feels out of reach. And I don't know how to like dream that big. That's what I think too, right? Because when I think of somebody that's got a couple of acres, like the things that you can do to it to make it really usable and fun and like maximize it, it all costs cost a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's overwhelming uh, for a lot of people, but the reality is it does not have to be. Now, I would also say, same time, that it does require a little bit more pause and preparation before moving forward. But we really are talking about an evening or a couple hours um, of prep. So would it blow your mind? I don't think it would because you work here in our office to know that in DFW, you can still find a home on an acre or two or three. Well, within a $500,000 budget. What? What? I blown away. I, I am. And I, I think it just speaks to why our strategy sessions that we offer are so important because it's like making a vision board for your life. Like I don't, if, if someone doesn't tell me what the possibilities are and help me p push and dream and see what yeah. is possible, right. I don't know if now, I can do now, it. Now, obviously the more land, the bigger the house, the closer in and all that, those numbers can go way up into the multiple millions. But we talk to so many people that are like, no, I actually want to be a little further out, right? I'd like to be in uh, Weatherford or Benbrook, or I'd like to be on the edge of McKinney, not necessarily in the heart. Cause I'd like a little more space and, you know, a little bit different feel and vibe. And for those people, that dream is still alive and well. Now, 10 years ago, you could do it for two fifty. So by all means, the, the prices of those things have gone up like everything else. Um, but I often find myself talking to people like, but there's just not any of those near where I live. And I'm like, yes, there are. I, I'm telling you there are. Now, if you live in downtown Dallas, there's not very many, if any, where you live. But if you live in Richardson, Plano, McKinney, Frisco, Allen, Louisville, Farmersville, uh, Farmers Branch, um, you know, Irving, Las Colinas, uh, Hearst, Euless, Bedford, Arlington, any of those, any places inside Dallas, Fort Worth, or within 30 minutes. I I'm telling you, there's there are acreage homes near you. There are neighborhoods where all homes are on an acre or more. There are cool lots within your neighborhood, probably, that have a six-tenths of an acre 100%. lot. And there may be only three or four in your neighborhood, but they're there. They're at the corners of cul-de-sacs. They're at the end of the block. They're in the back. They're on the edge. We love helping people achieve that because your life absolutely is different. Now, if you're not into that, like Jason or Ian, great. Now, I will tell you without giving too much away, Ian has a very cool backyard. It's not huge, but it's very cool. It's got some things that most people don't have. So you don't even have to be a big backyard person. We'd love to help you find a really cool yard. Or if you don't care about yards at all, by all means, we help tons of people find great neighborhood homes. But that that, number, that second thing we do that we love to do is help people achieve this dream when this dream feels like really hard to quantify and hard to figure out. And that seems too expensive. It seems like I'd have to move hours away or it seems like there aren't any of them. Most of those things just aren't true. This is an achievable goal that we help dozens and dozens of people do every year. We got an amazing one on the market in Parker right now. Um, we've sold them in Richardson. We sold them in Plano. We sell them in Wiley and Saxe and Murphy and Lucas and Nevada and Princeton and all those places all the time. Um, and it's way more achievable than you think. So um, Courtney, who is in the office helping us create radio and podcast and, you know, videos Just crushing it. all the time. It's like, even she still, that still feels big to her, but, and I don't want to give too much away, but when you come to our house and you see our big backyard, 
I watch your eye. Like you're like, I want my kids to come over and run wild here. Right. And they do sometimes. Um, it, it, help me help people dream that dream, but actually take action. Like what, what should we tell people just to call us or watch our video? Like, what do you think the step one that people would take is to actually investigate making this dream a reality? Well, first I would say we put out a ton of content. We've got podcasts and YouTube videos where you can start kind of researching and noodling. And then I would say absolutely text us and reach out and start the conversation because, and like help us, no, let us help you see what's possible for your situation. Help me help you. Yeah, I would just say this. Most people, when they start these dreamy conversations, they wait way too late. And then it basically never happens. What I'm telling you is even if this feels like it's two or three or four years away, start that conversation now. Call or text 214-310-0008. Call or text 214-310-0008 or go online. DutchReminderTeam.com. Courtney mentioned the YouTube channel. Jason, you just started with us a few days, you know, a week ago or whatever, but I showed you the YouTube channel. What was your reaction to somebody that had never seen our YouTube channel before until like a week ago? What was your reaction when you saw it? Um, plethora of information that I didn't even know about. Um, as I keep watching videos, I'm just like, I'm blown away for one, the knowledge for two, uh, the accessibility that um, uh, most people are looking for, um, including myself when I think of helping hands, I mean, we're so easily just to go on YouTube and learn how to fix something, but we can also learn how to purchase our first home. We can learn how to ask the right questions. We can learn where to look. We can, um, yeah, the, the, it's endless. Well, I think loyalty is dying in our culture. Yeah. You know, I think you can price shop online. You can stay in the shadows. Um, human connection and relationship is sadly waning. Um, but we have found that if we are just like pouring out good quality, helpful information, we are not building a Mr. Beast on YouTube, right? What we are is a resource to people that genuinely want to achieve these things. So for example, people that are like, I would love to have a big backyard. I'd love for the kids to be able to ride their bicycles in the front yard and run wild with their friends. I'd like to be able to have a chicken or two or three. I'd love to have room to work, play, and live at home, store my stuff, work from home, you know, all those things. But it just seems so crazy. We want them in the quiet of their, I'm not ready to talk yet, be able to go over, just Google my name, Todd Tremonti on YouTube, search the topic and watch some of these things. What does it look like to have a well? What does it look like to have a barbed wire fence or to put in some solar? Or how do I access my property if it's more rural? Or how do I live on an acre or two if I am in town and my neighbors don't all have the same kind of house? What's it like if I have a propane tank? Those are the things we're trying to help people alleviate those fears and anxieties, answer those questions so that, you know, by spring break, you literally could be living in a home with a big backyard, having a blast, having room for privacy, room to play, room to entertain, room to have the three barbecue pits or whatever it is that you're into. But if that's the case, don't wait to start that conversation. Let's just, let's talk now about making that dream a reality. 214-310-0008, or let's schedule you a free strategy session for an afternoon in January. 214-310-0008, just text the word strategy or call us now. 214-310-0008. I know you just closed your home at Republic Title, and I've told <clears throat> everybody oh for such a long time, a bad title company can be destructive to a transaction. Like we have, we have, really, we really, have two really situations strange. in our office right now where our clients got into absurd situations yep. because they're at title companies that we were not able to, you know, there are not title companies that we were excited about. Uh, and then I go and close at Republic Title and there was actually one little weird wrinkle, had nothing to do with them and they solved it within a matter of minutes. Yep. RepublicTitle.com, people. RepublicTitle.com, 972-423-8777. Go to TouchOnMyTeam.com, click the radio tab, and you can find all our recommended pros and vendors right there. Now, here's the thing. We're about to head into ice and snow and sleet and rain and wind. And if you haven't had somebody up on your roof to check it out in the last year or two, you're just gambling with every single thing inside your home. 
You're gambling with your sheetrock and your wood floors and your carpet and your appliances and your light fixtures and all your personal belongings because your roof is what protects you from those things. And this sounds crazy, but we all of our other you know expensive investments and assets we check on. We change the oil in the car. We check our stock portfolio. You keep your eye on the your job retention. You should check on your roof because it protects your home. Now, if you go to pmrroofing.com and contact the team over there, ask for Jordan Collins and just tell them, hey, I need a checkup. I need to make sure I'm in good shape. I need to make sure that all the seals on the boots and the vents, my shingles are in good shape. I don't have any hail damage or wind damage. They will look you in the eye and tell you the truth. Yep, you're in good shape. You don't need anything. Or they'll tell you, hey, you got a small thing here. Let's take care of that before it becomes a big thing. And they'll do it at a fair price the right way the first time. And you can trust that they'll be in business in a year or two if you ever needed them to come back. Go to pmrroofing.com. Ask for Jordan Collins. Tell them we sent you. All right, I got two things for you. One, I want to acknowledge that Courtney has been rocking a different Christmas sweater every single day this week. And I respect it. I celebrate it. Yep, 100%. I'm curious to see how long we can keep going. I don't know if we're going to have like multiple, like if we're going to have to see repeats at some point. I don't know. Gosh, I hope, I really hope people are paying attention and taking advantage of the YouTube channel because she just did a little Christmas sweater dance in front of the camera. A little shimmy shake. Here we go. Okay. I'm bringing it back. Oh, yes. Court is excited already. Jason, you Jason are doesn't up. Know what's Get ready. Here. Get ready. This is absurd. Jason, <laughs> welcome to the Cockney rhyming slang word of the week. Huh? Are you excited? So excited. So excited. Please tell me what you I'm You sound doing. excited. I, you can tell. All right. Now, little really, little really quickly, really quickly, <laughs> Cockney, Cockney is a way of speaking in a part, a region of England that people generally refer to as hard to understand or don't know why they do what they do. I'll give you a freebie. Apple and pears equals stairs. Okay. Now you and I both know it's easier just to say stairs. That one did rhyme. They don't actually all rhyme. Back to you. I'll give you another freebie. I want you to excel at this game. Whistle and flute equals suit. Do you get the game now? Follow. Here we go. Today's word, cherry pie. Cherry pie cherry in the sky. Pie. Sky. Okay, good guess. I, I just said sky first. Okay, actually. good guess. Uh, cherry Todd, pie. Todd, anything? Nothing? Eyes, good eyes. try. Good Ch- try. Cherry pie in my mind. The li- answer is lie. You telling a cherry, ain't you? Oh, you're telling huh? a cherry. Telling, a, telling a cherry. Huh? That was a whammy. What do you think? Whammies. We don't want Are whammies. we glad that it's back? No. Yes. Okay, no, Courtney's glad. That yeah. means I'm glad. It's absolutely ridiculous. Thanks, Jason, for playing. Better look Anytime. next time. Anytime. What? Okay, next week. All right, folks, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing, by the way, let me add this, or simply enjoying your home more, right? Are you feeling like you'd like to shake it up or mix it up, or you have something that needs some work? You'd like to take advantage of an opportunity to improve your property, the value, the utility, the enjoyment, or the lifestyle of it? That's what we're doing every afternoon in January. Literally, we have a team of about a dozen of us. About eight of those people are agents. Those eight, and occasionally some of our staff too, are gonna spend 20 plus afternoons in the month of January inviting people into our office, giving you a cup of coffee, a Topo Chico, a Coke, a Dr. Pepper. We got LaCroix, we got all kinds of flavored stuffs. We'll get, we'll have a, a Coke and we will answer all your questions and we'll give you some of our expectations for the 2024 real estate market. We'll help you think through buying an investment property, upsizing, downsizing, buying a home with a bigger backyard, adding on, remodeling your kitchen, protesting your property taxes, whatever your 2024 real estate goals are. We would love to add value in your life. Of course, if you're going to buy or sell, we'd love to earn your trust to have your business whenever that time is, but there's no rush from us. Let's start the year off by getting some real clarity around your real estate goals and give you some confidence as to where the market is and where it's heading and where the opportunities and the risks are. And we'll do that at no charge, no commitment, no obligation required. Almost any afternoon in January, we do this in our Fort Worth office as well as our Richardson office, or if we need to, we can do it by Zoom or we could meet you at a coffee shop or a restaurant or something like that. All you have to do right now is call or text 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. 
and we'll get you set up. You can text the word strategy or just give us a call. We would absolutely love to use our God-given gifts and abilities and talents and experience to bless you, to add value in your life, A, simply because we love to do that. B, no apologies. If you do choose to buy or sell this year, of course, we would love an opportunity to earn your business if you're the right fit for us. If not, we'll help you find somebody that is. If you haven't checked your home valuation recently, you need to do so. Go to TotraMoneyTeam.com, click the home valuation tab right there on the homepage. In less than 60 seconds, you will be able to see what your home is worth, what it would sell for, what it might rent for. If you are thinking about maybe selling and you want to get an idea of what a cash offer would look like, you can get that from there. It's going to give you a ton of information. TotraMoneyTeam.com, click that home valuation button. All right. Pop quiz, Jason. What does the word chattel mean? What is chattel? Chattel means stuff. Things around your house. Uh, it's not wrong. Uh, pretty much anything that you uh, want to take with you. Non-real property possessions that are part of a residential real estate yes, transaction. Sir. So that proves that you passed all your state licensing <laughs> and national stuff. Now, the reality is, will that help you get or serve your clients? And the answer to that is... No. No, it will not. I think that question was added after I got licensed. Have you ever used that term in your almost decade now of being in real estate, Ian? Never nope. even heard the word. And the point I make there is what really matters is who you're working with, who's mentoring, leading, coaching, and guiding you. Jason, we're so excited to have you on the team. Welcome to the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. If you are listening to us right now, live or recorded, and you are thinking about getting into the real estate industry or you've gotten into the business in the last 14 months, and you would like to tap into a team like ours, learn and grow and live an incredible life of income and impact, go to the website, toddtremontiteam.com. That's toddtremontiteam.com. And we would love to have a conversation about you joining us.